Catherine with ResinObsession.com and I'm here today to show you an easy way to seal papers for inclusions in your resin castings. Now if you've never worked with resin and paper before, if you don't seal the papers first, you will actually get a water stain on your paper. This is an example of a Scrabble tile that I had done and even though I'd sealed it, I hadn't done a very good job and up here in the corner, I don't know if you can notice, but basically the, the paper took on the liquid of the resin and so there's a darker stain up here compared to the rest of it and it really just ruins your whole piece. So I'm going to show you an easy way to do this today. Now I like to use this technique if I'm doing something with small pieces of paper. You can see here I've got a punch. So I'm going to punch out a couple of designs. And then one of the techniques I'll do is to take some clear packing tape and I like the stiff kind, don't get, don't get chintzy with this, and put your piece of paper onto your packing tape. Now be very careful because you're going to leave fingerprints if, um, so you know, be sure just to hold the stuff around the edges and put your paper on there and then you're going to seal it on top with another piece of tape. Now you want to smooth them out very well and try and get out any air pockets. And take your time doing this. You want to make sure you get a nice good seal on this. Go around with your finger now. Be careful too, you know, make sure you haven't left fingerprints where you want to cut. And now you want to trim this up with a pair of scissors. So when you go to trim with scissors, you want to get close to your edge but you don't want to get right up on it because you don't want to let the resin be able to come in and leak. And as you can see, it was it's really difficult to get out the air between the little rays of sunshine. So when you trim, you just want to get close to it. Always leave a little more rather than a little less. You can always go back and cut your or trim down your tape later. So there we go. So we have a, a piece of trimmed up tape. You can see I can go up a little here and probably take off that point. But it's clear, so it's going to cast clear in the resin. And now we have a good seal. Go around again. Make sure you've got a really good seal. But now you have a piece that you can cast in your resin. If you have any questions, leave them in the box below. Stop on by the ResinObsession.com blog and jewelry making forum. We're happy to help you with your resin casting questions. Thanks for stopping by today.